Okay, what's up guys? It's XX Modern Warfare Gamer Tab Banjo Chicken here with another requested tutorial on how to make a modded ISO disc for Call of Duty World at War. So the programs you're gonna need and just to let you know they'll all be in the description, so just check the description for all the downloads that you need. You're gonna need J Downloader for the ISO um, to download the ISO. You're gonna need uh, image burn for burning the image to the disk. You're going to need WX360 uh, for inserting the modded files. You're going to need the ISO itself obviously and you're going to need your modded files, your mod menu and basically your common dot, your code post and your green Nazi zombie prototype.ff which will be provided in the description. The mod menu I'll provide in the description is Motion Flex V1 Riley's Edit because it's most stable, well, it's the best menu in my opinion. I know there's a, a newer edit of Motion Flex out now, but it's, uh, it's got a bit more bugs, so I still think Riley's edit is probably the best one. Uh, and you'll need ABGX360. So, first of all, I'll talk about getting a disc. Now, to get the right discs, you can't just use normal DVDs you have to use dual layer discs so if you go on to amazon.co.uk or amazon.com if you're in America and basically you can buy different types of discs that will work now only a few will work they have to be dual layer discs and only certain ones will work so Memorex discs work uh, they can get quite a few bad burns with them so they're not the best what everyone says is the absolute best are uh, verbatim discs. Now you can get those; they are good. Um, they they're like flawless, but they are very expensive. The discs I would recommend you getting are much much cheaper, and for me they work flaw flawlessly. And I know a couple other people who use these discs and have never had any problems with them at all. So never even had one bad burn with them, and they're great, and they're really cheap that you can buy off Amazon. They're called Aon or A1 Plus Dual Layer Discs. Just type in Aon Plus, and here is a 25 pack for seven pounds sixty pence. I mean that's ridiculous. Uh, or you can get ten discs for four pounds ninety nine pence. So you know which is about eight dollars or eight and a half dollars. So you know I if you don't have any discs I recommend getting these off Amazon because they are incredibly cheap and they work perfectly. So yeah, okay, so that's where you can get your discs from. So let's start getting on with this. So to download the ISO I'd recommend getting J Downloader. Now I'll put it in the description, but it's just excuse me, sorry there. It's if you just go on to Google, type in J Downloader. I'll probably provide this in the description for you, so you don't have to do this. But this is the program that you need to download. When you have it downloaded, just download and install and when you have it downloaded you'll go to the next link in the description which will be to download the ISO so you click that and what it'll do is it'll download this here this RS COD W now what this is is a J downloader container file so you'll open that now J downloader takes a while to uh, load up so I'll just pause the video until it's loaded. Okay, so when J Downloader opens, you should get this. Now, you click this little plus sign and you'll see all these files that you need to download. They're WinRAR files, so I recommend having WinRAR. I know most people have it, so I won't include it in the description. If you don't have it, just type in on Google WinRAR and download it. So, when you come up with this in the link grabber, just click the play button and it'll move it into the downloads page and it'll start downloading so I'm just going to stop that 
bear in mind it's about 7 gigabytes, so it's going to take a long time to download for people with not very good connections. <clears throat> okay, so when you have it downloaded, okay, so when you have it downloaded, it will be in about 17 WinRAR files. So what you do then is just click on part one and extract it. Now it might have a password, but if it does, I'll put it in the description. So when you have it extracted, it'll be you'll get this file. You might also get a DVD image file as well. Um, you can delete the DVD image or keep it if you want. I would recommend just deleting it because we're going to be making another one in AVGX360 anyway. But keep this one here called World at War. Uh, it should be 7.29 gigs. Yeah, it should be 7.29 gigs. So that is the actual game. So what you're going to do now is run WX360 now. WX360. Uh, you should run as administrator if you're using Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Um, if you're using XP, you can just double click it normally. But you must run as administrator on Vista or Windows 7, otherwise it simply will not work correctly. And click the little open symbol, little folder symbol to open, and find your ISO. Okay, so when you have it open, the first thing you need to do is extract this default.xcx. You, you will screw up your ISO disk if you don't do this. So extract default.xcx, not the mp.xcx, just the default.xcx. And you want to extract it to the desktop or wherever. Just extract it somewhere and make sure you remember where you extracted it because you're going to be inserting it again in a minute. So when you have it extracted, it should show up there. Okay, so next thing is to replace the modded these files with the modded files. So your codepost.gfx I'm gonna replace with just find it here. I'm seriously gonna not remember what it's called. Oh, fail much. Okay. Sorry, yes. Replace the file with. Uh, with your modded file. So, code post. Replace the code post. And then replace the common dot. Now, the common dot is the actual mod menu. The code post is just like to allow the prestige function on the mod menu to work but I've modded my code post to change the the main menu text as well so next thing you want to do is scroll down to the nazi zombie prototype.ff and replace that with the clean one make sure they don't it doesn't say padding Okay, so next you don't have to do this if you don't have one, but if you have if if you want to replace the intro with your own intro, uh, you can do that. I've got one ready made. If you want to know how to make your own intro for World at War, it's pretty simple. Um, you just take a clip off YouTube or whatever you want, shorten it down uh, through Windows Movie Maker or Sony Vegas make it nice and short um, then convert it into a bink video which you can use with the rad video tools uh, if you want me to make a tutorial on that I will just request it um, so if you do have a if you do want to change the intro and you've got one make sure it's renamed to Treyarch as same as this and replace it now this one will say padding most likely unless you have unless you have it the exact same size, precisely the exact same size as the original intro, but this intro I'm replacing is a bit longer so it's going to do padding for a little bit. Just make it, make sure it's not too long, just roughly the same amount of time. And always make sure it says done after it says padding. Okay, 
so now you can go back to your default.xcx and replace file and replace it with the one that you just extracted desktop so messy default.xcx replace it and then that's your done you don't need to click the save button you can just close it straight off so now your ISO is now modded it's got all your mod menu and everything on it so next thing you're going to do is open up ABGX360 so like I said everything's provided in the description just click this little folder and you're going to open the ISO and this is for creating the DVD image do not use the one it gives you like I said you can delete that one just do not use it so you can ignore all these boxes I know lots of people say oh uncheck this and check that and that just leave it the only thing you want to really change is the auto fix change it to level 3 auto fix if stealth passes but fails verification then click launch <clears throat> so you get this little command prompt thing showing up and everything should be green apart from the very top one it should be yellow saying that the DVD file needs to be created and then it should say DVD was created in green if you have blue then that's fine uh, if you have any red text then what you can try doing is closing it off and click launch again to see if it fixed it but if you still have red text then it's a bad ISO and you'll have to download another one or possibly one of the files that you inserted in WX360 is corrupt or too big or too small so make sure that yeah, just make sure that everything's green or yellow. Make sure there's no red text anywhere. Now it will say checking game CRC. You don't need to do this because when it when that gets to 100%, it will just say that the verification failed. Now that's fine. It's meant to do that, so you don't need to do this at all. You can just click Q to cancel, and then any key to exit or just close it off. Now what should have happened now is you've got this DVD file back this .dvd image 32 bytes so now you're going to open up image burn uh, it takes a little bit to load from my computer, it's a bit slow okay so when you have image burn well and truly open. You're going to click on this one, the right image file to disk and you're going to open the image file not the ISO. This is the ISO and this is the .dvd image and you're going to open the DVD image not the ISO. It sounds strange because even though that, that's only 32 bytes and that's 7 gigs but you are actually going to open this one. So click on the little folder the magnifying glass Scroll over to your DVD image. Your, yep. And uh, click open. Make sure it is the Cod World at War DVD. Uh, but it is. Look at the size. It says it's over seven gigabytes. So that's fine. Um, don't worry about it being saying NTSC if you live in Europe or whatever. It is a region-free game, so it will work anywhere. Um, you don't need to tick these two boxes. Uh, you need to put the right speed on times four or lower, but I say times four works very good. And if it's say no devices detected or no this no media present in drive something like that. Just put in your dual layer disk and it'll say some stuff down here and then once your once your dual layer disk once it recognizes that your dual layer disk is blank it might say like disk is blank and then this thing that I'm high, I've got my mouse over just now this will you'll be able to click this which is the right button and you just click this and it'll start burning 
it'll start burning the DVD image to your disk which is great all you have to do then is leave it to burn I wouldn't suggest doing too much stuff on your computer while it's burning I'd suggest um, just leaving it to burn don't do something else on your computer at the same time just let it focus on burning the disk so close off any other programs that you have running or close off the internet go away for a few minutes leave the computer to burn the disk and when it's done um, you'll hear that annoying image burn jingle noise and uh, take your disk out and it should be burned with uh, your modded ISO disk will be ready so then you just hot swap or if you have a flash drive just stick the disk straight in and uh, enjoy your modded game so thanks a lot for watching I hope it helped uh, subscribe um, like the video thumb it up and uh, yeah so and request if you want if you got anything you need to know you want me to make a tutorial on then just request a tutorial only one request and I'll probably do it so thanks a lot guys catch you later